we're going to talk about the addition of two vectors and what it means to do the operation of a plus b and ask whether that equals a third vector c. Because vectors have both a magnitude and a direction, we'll think about this plus sign as having a somewhat different meaning than it just means in, in algebra class where I take five pounds and add two pounds and get seven pounds. We're going to mean now by addition the succession of two operations where I first travel in a direction given by A and then from there go in a direction by B and say what is that equivalent to? This is the vector C. Notice that it's not the case that A plus B equals C. That's not true. If, the, if you mean by A, B, and C right now, the lengths, in this picture, that length plus that length is much more than this length of C. So we don't mean the same thing at all when we put a plus sign here in a vector addition sign. This vector addition means the successive translation by that amount and direction plus the operation of doing that dis translation by that amount and direction. And the sum of a plus b is this new vector c. So for example, if you were talking about displacement, like how many meters did you travel, your net displacement might be only five meters here even though you might have actually had to travel five meters that way plus five meters that way. In other words, your odometer would have rolled off ten meters, but your net displacement might only be five meters because that's the vector sum. There's some important facts about this kind of addition. It's what we call commutative. In other words, a plus b, the vector sum, is equal to b plus a. And it's associative. a plus the per combined sum b plus c is equal to a plus b sum together first plus c. In other words, it doesn't matter what order of operations you do. Another important fact is that a negative vector can be defined minus a is the vector a plus this minus a equals zero. Which immediately tells us that if a goes like this, then minus a points backwards. It's parallel to and has the same length as a, but it points in the reverse direction. Sometimes that's called anti-parallel. So you might see that terminology as well. But the fact that we would like this kind of vector addition to work, a plus b is equal to c, the zero vector is one that has zero length. So whatever we would add to a has to give us back zero. So it has to point backwards along the length of a, or be anti-parallel to a. So this, in a graphical sense, gives us some notion of what vector addition is supposed to do but now we have to develop the mathematics to actually achieve this kind of goal.